Hi, this is Dave from Hawaiian South Shore. Um, I wanted to introduce some new boards that we got in uh, the store, and uh, this is actually an exclusive board that we got from Randy Rarick, and uh, we, I was looking for a board that he would use when he would travel, and he would use at home when the waves are uh, small to medium-sized days. Um, and we call it the home and travel board and here's Randy to talk about the board. Thanks Dave. Well, I just brought three models in here. What it is, I got a 7, a 7.6 and 8.0. The reason for the size is you want to have a little bit more board so you have a little bit more paddle power, a little more stability and for a little bit older guy it's great to have a little more size. A lot of my customers are guys that used to ride really short boards, got married, had kids, got a little bit older, a little heavier so they need something that they can still perform good on but it's also going to paddle them. So usually my board started around 7 foot and go up to about the Eight foot range. So I've got three of them that I brought in here and we're going to run through them real quick for you. So we'll start off on the on the top end and this is uh, this is an eight footer. What this is is got a semi pointed nose about 21 wide and somewhat of a pulled tail. And this particular one beautiful uh, what we call tiger stripe bottom and I like to set up my boards with five fin boxes so you can ride it as a single fin, a two plus one, a four fin or even a thruster, or you can put a nubster in and even ride it as a five fin. So all the options are there. I personally like when in small waves when I'm traveling, I like to use a four fin setup. And then when the waves get a little hollow or a little bigger, I actually go to a two plus one with a little seven or maybe even eight inch single fin, little three, three and a quarter inch side bites and works perfect. Or if you just want a traditional thruster, you can do that too. So that's the nice thing about it. And as I said, I call this the home and travel board. This is what I ride at home. I live at Sunset Beach, ride it all the time. And when I travel, I take it with me, because like I said, it's got a little bit more area to it. So even though the waves are really tiny, really small, it'll still go really good. But when it gets hollow and fast, it's got enough uh, edge on it that'll hold in the tail. So this is an 8.0. And this one here is a step down from it, 7.6. What we do is we pull the, uh, the, the nose in a little bit more, but as you can see, it's a little bit fuller template. It's not really pointed nose, but it's, but it's not like a little mini tanker either. It's kind of in between where you can get up in the nose, you want to get up and do a little nose work you can, but at the same time, it's narrow enough, so if you want to get up and under the lip, it'll do that too. And once again, same thing with the five fin setup, so you can use any fin configuration that suits you. And like I said, my personal favorite is four fin from when it's small thruster if it gets a little hollower and then a two plus one if it's big and hollow so you got something to hold you in. So that's a 7.6 and then for the guys that are a little bit smaller, a little bit lighter, just a little bit, a little more pointed nose, pull the nose in a little bit more, pull the tail in a little more. So you can either go a round tail or in this case this is a little squash tail and once again the five fin setup. So pretty much what I call my versatile model. You can ride this thing in just about anything. So it's the home and travel special and uh, if you get a chance to ride one, I know you're going to love it. Aloha.